Sam, a uh, big build-up to this weekend's game against uh, Ireland. What's the mood in the camp like? Yeah, really good. Looking forward to playing at Franklin's Gardens where we hopefully will get a decent-sized crowd. I'm just looking forward to getting out there and doing a good job. There was a big crowd last year. When you get a, a, a you know support like that, what does it mean to the boys? What lift does it give you? Yeah, definitely. Having a home advantage and having a crowd like that makes a massive impact. It's almost that 16th man on the field. Helps a massive amount. And now you're back in the East Midlands after you know two tough away games, you know almost kind of on home territory with training as well. Yeah, no, it's good to be back in Northampton um, with in familiar grounds and stuff, and it's nice being around the boys and, and training here. When you're uh, you know when you're going from club to country, how how difficult has it been this year? You know to to switch between one and the other. Uh, yeah, of course at times it's difficult because of calls and and different types of plays, but it, it's easy to get back in the swing of things after a day. Tom, you've been involved with some pretty big games with the Saints this year. What do you take from that when you come into the under-20 setup? Uh, quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, obviously, playing with more experienced players, um, sort of get used to used to them sort of calling, and it's being brought into this situation. It sort of gives you the opportunity to sort of take take control a bit. Whereas you haven't got all them people shouting at you and sort of putting you in your place and telling you what to do. To be honest, but um, I think uh, yeah, it does it does give you that experience, especially learning off them uh, to bring into this sort of situation in camp. Uh, some of the guys ask you, you know, you've been playing up against the likes of Luke Fitzgerald and the Heineken Cup this year. Do some of the guys ask you, you know, what you know what that's like and, and playing at places like the Aviva Stadium? Yeah, definitely. I got asked this morning what it, what it was like, really, and I just said it's, it's surreal. You can't really explain what it's like. It's obviously nerve wracking, but uh, it's obviously a great experience to get out there and uh, and play in that sort of sort of game. The Ireland game's a must win game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a must win game, especially with the loss to uh, France and then obviously coming back and playing Scotland and doing really well against them. So I think it'll be a massive test for us. And I think it can, this game can show us what we can do throughout the tournament, to be honest. Howard, you must be buzzing coming into the under 20s camp on the back of the Premiership Rugby Academies League win. Yeah, it was really good winning the uh, under 18s Academy League. Um, real good effort from the boys uh, coming into this. It's uh, another step up and uh, another challenge for me, so looking forward to it. You scored two tries against Exeter at Allianz Park on Monday. What do you take from a performance like that when you're coming back into the national squad? Um, just uh, as much as confidence as you can. So um, just keep training well, do what you do on the pitch and training, training, do on the pitch. So just, just try and repeat as much as I can. What are England really looking to build on against Ireland on Saturday? Um, just the uh, same sort of performance from the Scotland game, maybe not so much the France game. It was a tough, tough game down there, but the Scotland game was a lot better. Um, just a massive defocus for us. Uh, the Ireland are going to come flying at us and we need to have that white wall of England defenders and then just in attack, just continue what we've been doing against Scotland. It was really good.